What's up, ballers? It's Bobby Buckets, back with another episode of NBA Live Mobile. Since I pulled my 88 LaMarcus Aldridge yesterday, I figured I would do a video with some gameplay with all elite playoff players. So just checking out their stats here. All these guys have pretty decent stats, especially for their position. Obviously, I'm going to have to play a couple out of position because I don't have... A small forward, so I'm playing two centers, Dwight Howard and Hassan Whiteside. And then we switched Aldridge over to small forward. He wouldn't actually play that in real life, but it actually kind of works because he is a pretty good shooter, better than most power forwards. So we're going to jump right into some gameplay. As we win the jump ball, we have Jackson driving down the court. Obviously, McCollum's going to be a solid three-point shooter. I believe he has a 92 three-point rating, which is very high, especially for a playoff card. He might have the highest three-point rating for a playoff card, except for maybe Isaiah Thomas. Uh, his might be higher, but definitely a solid player. As we pass it over to Whiteside, and Aldridge hits the jump shot. So there you can see his high shooting stat coming in. Uh, very helpful. My defense in this game is very rusty, so odds are I'm going to allow a bunch of points, but my main goal in this video is just to show the offensive strength for each of these characters. Not characters, players. So we kick it into Jackson. Oh, there we go. And posterizing, who was that, Jeff Teague? So he's going to be a much better driver than he is a shooter. That's what his main role is in real life. As we get the steal right there, we'll drive down. Oh, my gosh. And battery low, but we're going to keep playing. We'll kick it to Howard, and he does a soft teddy bear Howard move like he always does. Dwight Howard, known for his softness, even though he used to be a beast whenever he played for the Orlando Magic. So, more lazy defense, and it looks like Jeff Teague's going to be hitting a lot of the jump shots. Uh, we'll bring it back down, kick it to Aldridge. All right, so guess we're not going to be driving with Aldridge. Uh, I'm guessing his ball handling stat's pretty low, so that would probably be the reason why he got it stolen whenever I try to drive, but that's all right. So, we're going to come back down. Drive with Jackson. We got the step back. Ooh, no shot bar, and he still made it. So he's got a pretty decent shooting set. Not as good as most guards, I would say, but definitely solid for what he does in the game. For some reason, I can't do anything to stop them right now. Probably because I haven't played season mode in forever. But that's just going to be something. What? What? <laughs> All right, so Hassan Whiteside taking a shot that Hassan Whiteside would never take in real life. Uh, almost got the steal there. One thing I wish I could change about the gameplay for this game is that players frequently take shots in a way that they would never would in real life. So maybe changing the tendencies for different players on different shots will drive with Aldridge. We get the slow-mo layup, it looks like. So I'm guessing we'll make that. He's going to convert on pretty much any layup that he tries. So, yeah, I do wish they would change the tendencies. Also change it so that they actually call backcourt. How how did that go in? There's no way Jeff Teague would ever make a jump shot over his own white side. All right, whatever. I'll just deal with that. So tied up at the end of the first quarter. Partially because of unrealistic shots, partially because I'm a terrible defender in this game. But we do get a steal right there, so out of bounds, heading the other way. The Cavs and, who are they playing? The Raptors played earlier, and the Raptors got destroyed again, so what? Okay, I didn't even mean to shoot that because I didn't realize it was Dwight Howard, but there's no way Dwight Howard is going to get blocked by Al Horford. Like, that's just not going to happen. And apparently, Jeff Teague is not a human, and he can make every shot on the face of the earth. So, we're just going to have to play a little bit harder. There we go. We get the 10% on the timing, so Jackson makes his jump shot. We got it back tied up. Yeah, earlier the Cavs got, or uh, they destroyed the Raptors again. Pretty sure that's going to be a nice sweep for them. Uh, it's a little disappointing that it's kind of a boring series to watch. Not going to be quite as exciting as the Thunder 
and Warriors, although that game was also a blowout. Hopefully, they'll be more entertaining in the future. As Jeff Teague still cannot miss a shot, I'm pretty sure he's shooting 100% right now, but we drive with Jackson and throw it down, so you can definitely see his driving skill comes pretty handy. Because his ball handling is so good, he's most likely not going to get it stolen like some players would whenever they're trying to do that, so that's pretty helpful. Uh, playing some more. Oh my gosh, they cannot miss. Al Orford just made a guarded jump shot. Uh, we gotta we gotta work on this defense. This is not good. Oh, um, I did not mean to pull up for a jump shot with us on white side. All right, we need to focus a little more. Oh, there we go. We got a steal. Drive down with Jackson, and we'll dish to Dwight, and he'll do a little teddy bear hook shot because I would say they are pretty accurate in how soft he is in real life, uh, especially given the way he plays in this game. Oh, look, they finally missed a shot. Let's see if we can capitalize. Oh, step back with Aldridge. There we go. All right. So his mid-range is coming in handy, even though he plays a power forward position. You probably could play him. Ooh, we get the block and another block. You could probably still play Aldridge at the small forward position just because of how good of a shooter he is. All right. I keep missing shots, but it's all right because I got the offensive rebound. Yeah, Aldridge is going to be a pretty versatile player, pretty useful in the game. Oh, look, Jeff Teague actually missed another shot. So we're up four at the half, um, trying to get as much gameplay with each player as possible. Let's see, we've played a decent amount with Jackson. Haven't done much with McCollum, so I'll try to show off his skills a little bit more. As we allow yet another shot, so we're only up two right now, but we'll drive down. Let's see. Let's see if we can find McCollum. Where is he? That's white side. Once again, not at all a characteristic white side shot, but he makes it even though he's fading away. Um, that's just not a shot he would ever take in real life. He pretty much only shoots hook shots and layups and dunks. So I wish they would kind of change that a little bit. Jeff Teague still can't miss a shot, so we got to work on our defense on him. That might not be one of Jackson's strong suits. We will kick it out to McCollum. All right, there we go, and he hits the three-pointer. So he's going to probably hit those pretty consistently just because he's a solid three-point shooter. More terrible defense on my part. <laughs> oh, and we got lucky, and he was out of bounds. So uh, we'll take over on that turnover. Maybe we can get a little bit of a lead now. Drive it down pretty quick. Let's see. Pass to white side. Can we post him? What? Okay. If Hassan Whiteside ever got blocked on a hook shot, that would be the most amazing thing ever. Which is why that is so unrealistic. He has like a 7 foot 28 wingspan. He is never going to get blocked on a hook shot. I just don't understand why that's possible. Uh, but whatever. I guess that's why the game is still in soft launch. <clears throat> and they miss another jump shot, so we'll drive down with McCollum. Oh, pulling up from super deep. Ooh, and he drills it. So, looking like he's got a little bit of range. We'll kind of test it out and see if he's got that Steph Curry range or if it's just average. Um, actually, in that series, when they played the the Trailblazers played the Warriors... Damian Lillard was actually looking like Steph Curry. He was hitting shots from way outside, off the dribble with people guarding him. So he was actually, he might be on his way up the NBA ranks. I'm guessing he'll be an all-star next year. He was kind of a snub this year, but hopefully he can make his way up as we allow yet another basket. But we'll drive down with Jackson and we'll kick to Aldridge, take that jump shot, and nail it. So... I don't think he's missed any of his mid-range jump shots. If you've got him on your team, that's just going to be a solid, consistent way to score. Uh, especially if you can get a little bit of space. As long as you don't get blocked, there's pretty much a 100% chance. How did that go in? Dwight Howard, why did you not block that? And, oh, tried to get the point at the end of the quarter, but we didn't get it. So that's going to be it for this video. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you did, and I will see you guys next time.